If you run an e-commerce brand that uses Klaviyo, this will be one of the most important videos that you're ever going to watch. That's because Klaviyo has just released their new pricing update and if you don't make the changes I'm about to show you, you will end up overpaying hundreds or even thousands of dollars on your Klaviyo bill every single month. So I'm gonna cover all of that in this video, plus I'm going to show you how to prevent it and clean your email list so we're not overpaying a single cent. Let's get right into it. So what's changing? This is the screenshot that I took from the email I received from Klaviyo. There are some new updates like for flexible sending for email, which means that right now that would be pretty much like, you know, updating it based on the sends that you have and like automatically upgrading on, on or downgrading. But most importantly, they'll be doing downgrades or upgrades based on your active profiles. Now, why the, how does it work in reality? Um, well, previously, you could have had more profiles active than your plan allowed you to. For example, you could, you could have like 100k active profiles in your Klaviyo account, but your Klaviyo plan was the one for only 50k active profiles just because you were sending less, which means that your plan could be based off of your email monthly usage and sends rather than active profiles. Now, with this latest update, it won't be possible and Clevy will automatically upgrade old or downgrade your billing plan based on how many active profiles you have. These are some of the examples of the accounts that we saw where, you know, for this brand, they have technically they are over their monthly profile usage, but their monthly plan is below that. As you can see, they have like 22k profiles, but the active plan is the one for 20k profiles because we weren't really meeting the sense quota, the monthly um, email usage. So we weren't having this biggest plan because we didn't have to. This is another brand which is, you know, a little bit bigger. They haven't been declaring their list for months. But overall, they still don't have the plan, which is the right plan for their active profiles. They have almost 400k active profiles, but the plan that they have right now is only for 100k profiles. That's because they are warming up the list and overall, you know, they're not sending enough emails to qualify or to spend enough money for the, the biggest plan, which just wouldn't make sense for them financially. Now, why does it matter? Well, a lot of brands have way more active profiles than they are using. And these are just two examples above. And probably if you haven't been cleaning your list for a while, then your Klaviyo billing might look just like this. That's because once again, they haven't been cleaning it because they are either forgot, didn't know how to do it, or they thought, what if I remove someone that could have purchased from my brand? Unfortunately, now all of the reasons above, which are the reasons for not cleaning your email list, are going to cost you money. The only solution is to clean your email list and remove unengaged people, or you can always keep paying more every single month, but obviously you don't want this, so I'm going to show you um, how to do it later in the video. Before we go into how to clean your email list, let's talk about the you know, probably big topic, which is should you switch your email provider? Should you switch to a different email company? Because Klaviyo billing is so terrible right now, everyone is freaking out. Should you move, for example, to Sendlane, to Yotpo, to Mailchimp, anything else? I'm going to answer that. So, firstly, I understand where you're coming from. I'm also not a fan of their pricing change at all. Even before their pricing was already super confusing for a lot of people. And a lot of people weren't a fan of it as well. And now they just made things worse, okay? I'm not going to say they didn't. They kind of did. Um, and I agree. And I don't know a single person that's happy about this change because most of the people and brands will be forced to pay more. But the truth is that even with this pricing change, Klaviyo still remains the best email marketing software for e-commerce brands. That's because, okay, price may be higher than competitors, but overall, you know, it really depends on what kind of person you are. If you are the type of person that prefers to save, let's say $100 per month on email software, um, rather than making, let's say, 5k more revenue with this other software, then that's fine. But for a lot of brands, the ROI on paying for Klaviyo will be way better than the ROI for, for, for paying for, for example, Sendlane or Omnisend um, or anything else, right? Like I'm not gonna just name drop all of the um, service, email service providers, I, uh, softwares, I don't have any issue with them at all. I just personally believe that Klaviyo still remains the best tool it has the most advanced analytics, segmentation, campaigns, flows, really a lot of things like the whole infrastructure allows you to generate way more revenue than by using other email softwares. 
and even with this pricing change you know so like first of all you will not pay more after you watch the rest of the video i'm gonna show you how to clean the list so we're not paying more than right now like first of all but then secondly even if you know clean your list and you still end up having to pay more i still believe it's going to be worth it if you have the right email marketing in place because if you do then the roi on your clave account is going to be huge and insane like absolutely insane so if that's you then no worries i'm gonna show you how to save on your clave bill anyways and then if you don't know how to use email marketing properly you know i have a bunch of other guides which you can watch but that's not the point so the truth is that instead of complaining and looking for alternatives in my opinion you need to adapt and just move forward the good news is that i'll help you do all of that and that once again you probably won't even pay more than you're paying right now um and one more thing is that you know a lot of people are wrong about how they approach it right because i understand that you might be skeptical about removing active profiles from your brand because you've been building your email list for so long so why should you remove those people and get rid of them and the truth is that big email lists uh, or big email list does not always equal more money or sales for example if you have 300k people on your email list but only 50k people um open them and the other 250k didn't open an email in the last year or didn't even receive any email in the last year chances are this this big part of your email list which is 200k people it won't change like if someone didn't open an email from you for a year the chances of them being like oh there is this brand they've been sending me emails for a year how about i open an email from them and buy right now can you just imagine a case like this because i can't it's very rare unless someone has been buying for you know hyper specific product which they've been putting off for quite a while doing a lot of research and then suddenly they become ready they're like okay this is the time when i'm pulling the trigger chances of having those people um i mean you will have some people in this 250k pool but the chances of every single person being like that are extremely low okay you are probably more likely to win a lottery than to have so many people in this um in this pool of inactive profiles so this is my point um that the possibility of re-engaging them um and buying from you right now are extremely well low and this is why it really makes sense to clean your email list and just get rid of unengaged people this way you will only have those who are likely to purchase on your email list and it means that you'll have less people on your email list that's true but you'll have more high quality people because pretty much the only people left on your email list are going to be the ones who are high quality because they are engaging with your emails with your brand and they are actually likely to buy and not just sit there and do nothing pretty much okay so you might be wondering by this point okay how do i clean your email list in reality it's quite simple you create four of the segments that i listed below you export each segment and then you suppress them in Clavio. That's it. But I'm got no worries. I'm gonna show you how to do all of the above step by step. So just hold on. Okay, so as you can see, I mentioned four segments right there, and I'm going to show you the definition for all of them. So this is the exclusion segment, which are essentially people who dropped email, bounced, or marked you as spam, and they can receive email marketing. We don't want any of those people on your email list, so just get rid of them. Then you have segment, which is people who, are, who signed up for email list more than one year ago, but they received no emails from you, okay? Like absolutely nothing in the last year. And overall, if they, receive, if they were to receive an email right now, first of all, they wouldn't remember who you are. Secondly, the chances of them having it in the primary tab are super low, which means that they would most likely not open this email, which means your open rate would get super low, which means your deliverability will take a hit, and so on and so on. You get the point. It's not worth it to send emails to those people. Um, you, there's, there are a few specific scenarios where it would make sense, but the, the main one or the only one I can think of is Black Friday when you're trying to re-engage those people. And if your product isn't tied to someone's age, for example, if you are selling products in the baby niche for, you know, infants um, and someone signed up one year ago, the product you're selling won't be relevant to this person anymore because they, their kid is already older than you know when they signed up so the products you're selling are not relevant okay so something to keep in mind when um when trying to re-engage those people but right now i wouldn't like really think about it i'm also gonna cover how you can re-engage them in the upcoming black friday later on another segment which is one year old and no engagement so once again people um who signed up more than one year ago but didn't receive open any email from you or clicked at all okay 
um, if they've been on your email list for over a year but haven't opened a single email same cases here they're very likely very um, they're not likely at all to engage the chances of them opening or engaging with you are extremely low and you risking you know getting a few extra opens here and there isn't worth the deliverability hit that you will take and now the last segment or segments are unengaged or suppression list and I called two of them because the unengaged segment that you can see here should be the trigger for your sunset flow um, and if you have it set up then you should suppress your suppression list right but um, we don't always set up the sunset unengaged flow especially if brand's deliverability isn't rock solid so if you're struggling with low open rates already you don't need to set up sunset unengaged flow as it will only make things even worse so open rates will be even even worse than they are right now Instead, you want to set up the unengaged segment and suppress this one. You can also play with how many people, how many email people received. So to summarize it like very quickly once again, normally you would have an ideal case scenario. You would have both of these. So you would have your unengaged segment, then you would have your sunset unengaged flow, which is being triggered when someone joins this segment. And then you would have your suppression list where suppression list is for people who have been who have gone through your sunset flow but didn't open an email so this sunset flow is really like an re-engaging flow which usually just helps you you know re-engage some people and then mark the ones that aren't active at all but in reality once again a lot of brands have very very bad deliverability and usually the sunset flow itself has super super low open rate so it's not always worth it to set it up. If you are wondering how to do it, I have another video showing you how to do it step by step and like clean your list on autopilot using this flow. But that's not the point of this video. Let me maybe try the first segment um, and create it, you know, in, in Klaviyo so we know how to do it. So in general, you know, you are going to your Klaviyo account. You will go to audience. If you have it um, like that, you need to drop it down. You click on lists and segments and then you click on create new and then create segment. Then once again, you can either pause the video um, whenever I'm showing you these segments or you can click the link in the description of the video and download this guide so you can always access it whenever you want to because you have like copy paste definitions. So I'm going to call it once again exclusion list. Right. And then you can pretty much copy paste the, um, the criteria from there. So we are going to click person can receive email marketing and what someone has done. Then you click on dropped email at least once overall time. Then you do or what someone has done, uh, marked your spam at least once overall time, sorry, overall time, or what someone has done, uh, bounced email at least once overall time. So this segment is also quite aggressive. I don't like bounces. Um, we used to do this bounce criteria at least twice bounces overall time, but right now I'm very um, very playing it very safe pretty much because I saw that it really impacts the variability in a very negative way so that I don't want to risk it um, and you know pretty much try getting people who bounce to send them an email and seeing if it will bounce again and then after you have all of these criteria you're going to click on create segment it will of course take a while to, to populate all of this stuff but yeah overall after you're done with this segment specifically you're going to create the other one so we would create the, this one and then this one and then you know unengaged one um or suppression list if you have the sunset flow you're creating them pretty much the same way uh but for first active and created you would do these as properties instead of what someone has done so maybe let me show you um and i'm just going to show you these two criteria so instead of clicking on this what someone has done you would click on this so properties about someone first active um, in the last um, 365 days, right? Um, at least 365 days. And then you would do the same thing for created. So it also do, you know, or properties and then created. And then you switch from after to at least then you do 365 days again so yeah this is how you do the segment and obviously the other criteria as well so you would do and someone can receive marketing and open email zero time and clicked um zero time as well for this one once again i have a separate video on cleaning the list i just want to make this one as valuable as possible and now after you have all of those segments there are really two ways to remove your profiles in clavio you can either delete them right away or export the list and suppress it all the lists that you export and suppress can be re-uploaded in the future that you can try and re-engage the prospects. Once again, like I mentioned before, ideally you want to do, is, do this during Black Friday. 
Usually this won't give you a huge boost in sales, but it will bring in some extra sales here and there and it will re-engage some of the old profiles. That's why I would suggest deleting the exclusion list and exporting plus suppressing the rest. Once again, usually for these ones, I would still honestly delete them. Uh, but if you're the kind of person that prefers to have them just in case, you know, you can export them and um, and save elsewhere as well. But you know, other than that, I would pretty much only do this with this list with um, unengaged ones where I would export it and try to re-engage during Black Friday. Other than that, I would really just delete them. Uh, but yeah, worst case, you can just never, you know, um, we, worst case, if you export them, you might never use them, but the best case, you can re-upload them and re-engage them and so on. Um, so if you want to, you know, export, uh, export and suppress those people, it's quite simple. You go to lists and segments. Um, actually, maybe you're wondering how to, how to delete them. So if you're wondering how to delete those profiles directly from Clavio, you go on here, you click your brand's name, you go to settings. Then you go to other, you go to profile maintenance, you select the list. So for example, exclusion list, and then delete people, delete people. And yeah, you would normally just delete everyone from the segment where once again, these three segments, I would pretty much delete those people right away without exporting. If you prefer to save them just in case, save these two, export them. But this one you can delete anyways. Like if someone marks you as spam, you don't ever want to send an email to them like ever again, even if you're trying to re-engage those people, okay? So make sure you do it like that. But other than that, um, suppressing the profiles is super simple. So you select your list, let's say it would be this one, unengaged, you go to the segment, manage segment, export to CSV. Um, and when you upload those profiles to, to suppress them, they only allow you to have one column. So you would need email only. But once again, if you prefer to have some more data on these people, like their first name, for example, for some personalization, um, you can select it, then you would need to export twice um, or export it once and then upload it to your Google Sheets and delete the column with first name and export only the email one, okay? But if, you're, if you don't care about it, then you can just click on email, start export. It's gonna take a second to export. You know, normally it would like export right now, it's, it's a demo account, so the list is empty, but normally you would see, you know, export show up, you would get the download downloaded file, CSV, and after you have this file um, from your, you know, segments that you wanna suppress, you go to profiles, view suppressed profiles, import, and you would upload the file that you just um, that you just downloaded from the export, and then you would click on upload. And that's pretty much it. You would, you know, suppress the list. Okay, it probably showed, um, so let me maybe show you because actually it downloaded itself. So we would go there, you would click on upload, you would select, select this list, you would click on upload, um, and you would suppress the, you know, the email list or those people who are unengaged. And that's pretty much it. That's exactly how you do it. Make sure you do it with all of the segments that, you know, I, I showed you in this video. Once again, you can either pause it or below the video, there's going to be a link to download this resource so you can get it as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. One more important thing is that after you have those exported profiles, you want to save them somewhere because otherwise you might delete them by mistake. So the practice we're doing right now is whenever we export the list of unengaged people, we will upload it to a Google Drive folder just so we have it in the future whenever we want to use it. If we don't ever use it, that's fine. It's not taking up you know, much space. But if we ever want to re-engage them, then that's fine. And after you're done with cleaning your email list, make sure to actually adjust your building, even though Clavio will have uh, you know, it will allow you to adjust the blink automatically. They will auto upgrade or, da or downgrade. But overall, you can already do it right now or you can do it manually by going to your brand's name, billing, and you would obviously change your plan and select select the one that right now fits your profile usage. So this is how you do it. If you want to learn more about segmenting your email list for good deliverability and making more sales, there's going to be a link below this video, which is going to be a complete segmentation masterclass with 57 pages. And it's really sure covering everything you need to know about segmentation, cleaning your email list, making sure deliverability is on point and ultimately making more sales. Make sure you get it. But other than that, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and talk to you soon. Cheers.